I thought it would take a moment just to show everyone the new test stand. Um, as I walk around and, and to show you the front of the engine, you notice there are two, two water lines. This is the feed line for the water pump. This is the return line. Uh, this again being the uh, all water tank, which would provide adequate cooling for an extended period of time running it outdoors. As I look around here, this is the gas tank. And then this is the oil tank with the oil lines. These are oil, oil return lines. They go from the engine back to the tank and then recirculated through the, uh, uh, the engine then. If we look here, this is, this is the coil. This is an uh, MSD uh, sensor for the coil. Uh, and this is the ignition module. Um, looking around the back, this is the uh, oil filter and it is replaceable. It's an inline oil filter. And then if I, as I look around here, you'll notice that there is a temperature gauge, a voltmeter, and, uh, a, a, and a lot of light telling you that the system is oper operating, and then a tachometer. And I'll start the engine up and give you an idea um, just, how, just how nice the new uh, this standard engine runs. And again, this is a standard engine. It is non-supercharged. You see it is just carbureted. Okay. And then uh, the other question asks is that why are the headers on backwards? Uh, or they, uh, they're actually not on backwards. It's just if you're standing over on the left, then if they were turned around, then you get a big fa face full of, of uh, exhaust every time, uh, which would not be comfortable. So if we turn around backwards, it kind of gets it out of your way. This is the uh, oil return lines. I tried to talk over the noise of the engine just a moment ago, and if you didn't hear me, but see the what looks like air bubbles uh, in the line? It actually is. It's scavenging all the oil out of the pan, putting it back to the tank, and then from the tank it goes through the filter, back into the uh, 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 oil pump, and then pumped through the engine, and then recycled. So it adds a lot of oil, a lot of cooling, a lot of lubrication to the whole engine.